Did you know that the Trinitarian Jesus is not a good man according to his own words? Let me show you. Matthew chapter 19, verse 17. I realize that Trinitarians don't really like to use the Bible very much. They have a system that is not based on Scripture. They just kind of go with traditions of men and extra biblical revelations and things. But uh, you ought to just try to kind of open the mind a little bit. I know it's kind of hard. It gives you a headache. But, uh, you know, try. Broaden your horizons. Matthew chapter 19, verse 17 says, And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Okay? Let's look at the other two. Mark chapter 10, verse 18. There's none good but one, and that is God. Mark chapter 10, verse 18. And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. And finally, let's go to Luke chapter 18, verse 19. Luke chapter 18, verse 19. And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good, save one, that is God. Okay? Now, if you are a Trinitarian, then you say that Jesus is God the Son, and He is a separate person than God the Father, and God the Holy Ghost is somebody else. They are three separate persons that all share the title of one God. Okay? Let's go with that for a minute. So you have Jesus Christ clearly saying in this passage, there's none good except God. Who's he talking about in context? He's talking about the Father. Correct? So, if you believe in the Catholic Trinity, then you would say, okay, Jesus Christ is saying, why are you calling me good? There's none good except for God, the Father. In context, he's talking about God the Father. He couldn't be talking about himself because he didn't say... He would say, you know, you should be calling me good because I am God. He didn't say that. He said, why callest thou me good? There's none good save one, that's God. See, if you believe in the Catholic Trinity, then Jesus Christ just literally said, I'm not good, only God the Father is good. Okay? Now, if you believe in the biblical Godhead, okay, the word Trinity is not in the King James Bible. The word God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, the second member of the Trinity, the triune God, that all that junk, persons of the Godhead and all the stuff. All that stuff is not in Scripture. If you believe the King James Bible as it's written, without adding to it with all your traditions of men that come from the Catholic Church, then you can look at it and you can say, you know what? This Scripture, Jesus is being confronted by this man and the guy says, good master. And Jesus says, why are you calling me good? There's none good but one, and that's God. God the Father in context. Do you believe that I'm God the Father or don't you? That's what he's putting on that man. See, Jesus is not saying I'm not good. He's saying, why are you calling me good unless you believe that I'm God the Father? Ouch. Another little problem for the Trinitarians, you know? If you have to stick to the Godhead, the, the Trinity being three separate people, then Jesus Christ just said, I'm not good, only God the Father is good. If you believe the Godhead, as it's written in the King James Bible, then you're, you can look at the thing and you can see Jesus saying, hey, to the guy, why are you calling me good unless you believe that I'm God the Father? There's only one good and that's God. Do you believe that I'm God? And again you say, but, but, but it, it could still work for the Trinity. It could, it could still work for the Trinity. Um, how could it? You see, if Jesus is saying there's only one good and that's God, and he's referring to God the Son, <laughs> well, then he's saying that God the Father and God the Holy Spirit aren't good. There's only one that's good. But then you go back to magic land again with the, the divine essence where they're all they're three separate people, but they're one. <laughs> or you can just give up your pagan nonsense and be a Bible-believing Christian and just say, you know what? Right there, another proof of the Godhead. Have a nice day.